one of the questions that I often get asked is what I look for in a book and um, the answer is quite varied so I thought what I would do is just upload a quick video with some of the things that I look for in a book. Hi everyone, I'm here today to do just a quick video to talk about some of the things that I look for in books and these are things that when I am um, sort of sent a pitch from publishers about upcoming books I will immediately jump in there. These are things that I look for when I'm book shopping myself and um, adding all of those books to book depository um, because I can't help myself. These are the kind of books that I add to my wish list constantly and always plan on getting around to buying, never actually manage it because my wish list grows and grows and grows. Um, but overall, there are several things that I consistently look for. And um, yeah, so I'm just going to crack on. So the first thing that I look for um, is the one that is slightly more frowned upon. And that is, um, I really do judge a book by its cover. And certain things will make me gravitate towards that book. Certain things being, for example, sprayed edges. I recently bought this book because I love the sprayed edges. And this is the Library of the Dead. I bought it because it is beautiful. It has sprayed edges. It looks fantastic. Um, and it has another one of my tropes in it, which I'll discuss later on. But sprayed edges, you've, you're always going to get me interested with the sprayed edge. Another thing that instantly draws me to a book is just um, classic beauty of a book. I love a book that is classically designed and looks vintage and stunning and one of my favorite ranges of books for these are my Barnes and Noble collection and I absolutely adore my Barnes and Noble's collection they are my favorite books that I have and um, I'll just show you one of them here this is my Jane Austen seven novels and if you can just see just how beautiful that is it also has sprayed edges and um, the spines are beautiful as well and these, this sort of thing will just make me want a book. I'll see it on Instagram or I'll see it online. I'll just, just, I'll, I'll just want it so bad. Um, it's the whole sort of vintage beauty of it all. And there's just something about having a full shelf full of these that makes me extremely happy. Along the same sort of lines, if a book goes for sort of a vintagey feel, such as um, recently I read My Best Friend's Exorcism, and um, I don't have a copy of that book with me right now, but um, that has a very vintage sort of cover. It looks like an old 80s VHS. I love 80s vibes in books, 70s, 80s, that sort of um, that sort of era. And it will instantly make me be interested in a story and want to gravitate towards them. I know it's a controversial one, but I really do judge books by their covers. And um, a cover can make it or break it for me with a book. A book can have a really interesting premise, but if the cover looks really mm, not very nice, I'll be less inclined to buy that book. So yeah, that's just, that's just me. Second thing that I look for in books is certain tropes. My all time favourite genres are thrillers and horrors. I can't help it. I just love them. And I've read thrillers and horrors since I was really small. I just, I really love them. There's something about that sort of creep vibe that just gets me hooked. And no matter how many of them I read, I want to read more. It's just, it's a compulsion. And I know some people are like that with fantasy. Fantasy for me is an absolute no. Um, there are very few fantasy books that I've ever enjoyed at all. For me, it's all about the thrillers and the horrors. And um, some of the tropes that I like within these sort of worlds involve things such as witches. I love anything to do with witches. If I see witches in the title, if I see witches on the cover, if I see that witches are involved at all, be it in a thriller, a horror, a historical fiction, non-fiction, if witches are involved, I want that book. Witches are just my thing. I love them. And so... That is one of the things that I look for. And when I said that this book has another one of the um, sort of tropes or things that I will go for in a book is that this is set in Edinburgh and I love any books that are set in Scotland. Really just enjoy having things set around where I live and it makes it just all the more real for me. And this book is set in Edinburgh. Another trope that I particularly enjoy is um, high school. Anything to do with high school, I like the I like that whole claustrophobic environment of high school and everything and everything being under a microscope and that sort of period of transition that you're in in high school and the coming of age situations. I love that. And I love books that are set in that time. Um, I just find that it makes everything a little bit more dramatic. 
Another trope that I particularly love is something that involves um, female friendship. I really love books that focus on female relationships and bonds that women have together. I love that. That is something that I really enjoy. And I'll definitely pick something that focuses on female friendship um, versus something that involves um, a, a romance, for example. I'm not really that fussed about people falling in love, but I do like friendship and people who develop these bonds, especially over sort of big life events. Another trope that I love is the claustrophobic thriller. You know the type. You're in an old abandoned castle. You're in a cabin in the woods. You're locked in your friend's basement and there's only a few different characters and for whatever reason you can't get out. Claustrophobic thrillers, I love those where it's only a small cast of characters but someone, someone in there is a wrong one, and I like that. I like it where you're just wondering which one of your friends is a serial killer because who hasn't sat there wondering which one of their friends is a serial killer? I, I, I do all the time. Another trope that I particularly like is The Husband Did It. I like the ones where you read the back of the book and it tells you pretty much that a woman has a really dodgy husband and he's up to all sorts of shenanigans and then she disappears. And it's blatantly the husband. And somehow the husband, he probably now has a new wife and she doesn't know, but she's gonna find out. I love that. I love the unveiling that you have married a secret psychopath. I just, I, that that's so much fun. Not in real life. I wouldn't be very happy if that happened to me, if someone unveiled that I'd married a secret psychopath. That wouldn't be quite so much fun. But when I read about it happening to other people, fictional people, um, I like that. And the final trope that I particularly like is the slasher movie style situation. If you're reading a book and it is generally in the horror field and there is a maniac killer on the loose and you don't know who's gonna die. It's literally everyone. Everyone's being slain right, left and centre. I like that. I like it when you think that you're really into a character, you think that character's gonna go the full way and the next thing you know, they've got a knife in the back of their head and that's the end of them. I like it where you're not sure what's gonna happen, but I like it when it's not too gory. I don't like gory. I'm of the Scream generation. I watched that and I loved Scream. It wasn't too gory. That sort of 90s slasher movie where people were just slain mercilessly, but it didn't go too far. I find that once you sort of incorporate torture and things like that, that's not for me. And I find that that sort of switches me off quite quickly. So it's a very fine line. You to have the endless murder without too many details that sort of thing really draws me in. There we go, those are my favourite tropes. Those are the things that really draw me into a book and those are the things that will always sort of push me to buy a book. Or... But I'd be really interested to know what yours are because I know everybody's very different and I know there's loads of different types of readers out there and I know there's loads of different tropes that people love. And um, I'd love to know what your favourite books are or what sort of things really draw you into a book. And um, I'll speak to you soon. Bye.